Hey friends, it's a beautiful day. Kind of warm today. I think it's going to be about 111, but it's early and the girls and I are out. And I figured we're going to do some videos about the mines along the road up to Crown King off I-17 and Bumblebee. Um, and this is like one of the first digs that you come to. There's another little prospect up the way here. I think it's called the Blanchiana. But this is really the first one of note. And this is the Gloriana mine, or Gloriana, or however you want to pronounce that. But it's a gold, copper, and silver deposit. And this is a nice big pit here. Probably not a place you want to fall into. But they have it, um, probably the BLM did this, or whoever claimed it, has it gated off, some barbed wire, so... Hopefully no animals or people fall in there. It's not a huge, it's not a huge deposit. But there are some workings here. Looks like some old shaft entrance there, probably some access, some way to access it. Of course, we're not going to try to get into it or do anything like that. Years ago, there was a, a pretty large pile of core samples over here. Anybody who walked up here would see them, but they're long gone. Really kind of beautiful, historic place. You have a great view of the Bradshaw Mountains here. Might even be able to hear the vehicles on I-17 up there. And the Blanchiana I believe that's how it's pronounced, is right up in here somewhere. But this is the Gloriana. Like you can hear people up there at the Black Canyon Trail, probably hikers coming back. So I think it's a good thing that this is um, gated off. Don't want anyone falling in and getting hurt. It's a long, long way down. Definitely not a place that anyone wants to fall into. Especially this young lady. You don't want to fall in there? No. Okay. It doesn't sound like a good time. Doesn't sound like a good time? No. Does not sound like a good time to these, these beautiful ladies here. That's not a good idea to me either. Here's the golden fox hanging out yeah. on a rock. This road keeps going. There's a lot more digs up the road here. We'll keep taking a look. We might walk across the street over here. There's a little bit more to this across the street. Maybe we'll go down there and take a look. It's like a piece of the there. Standing here on the Bumblebee Bridge. I'm surprised there's water down here, given as hot as it's uh, starting to get. But that's a good thing. I like seeing the water. Back there is the uh, Black Canyon Placers, and this whole area is probably claimed up by a lot of the uh, prospecting clubs. There's a lot of private claims in here. Beautiful area, great area for uh, Nugget shooting, dry washing, and all of that good stuff. Beautiful. As an introduction to this area, definitely a good little area to get started in. I believe the Roadrunners and the GPA have the bulk of the claims in here. Probably some other clubs that do as well, but definitely if you're going to come out here and prospect, know where you're going. There's some open ground out here too. A lot of gold nuggets found back in this area. Walking around the hidden treasure mine. 
the hidden treasure produced gold, silver, lead, zinc, and copper. It's right across the road from Government Spring. Some years ago, I remember seeing a head frame in here. I don't believe that head frame is still here anymore. At least I don't see it. Some old trash. More old trash. A fire pit. Looks like a foundation here with some bolts. To the road going up the hill there. Some more old foundations. So quite a bit of mine dump tailings here. A lot of waste rock. Beautiful. It would be a nice place to have a little campfire. Nice view. A little bit too dry right now to have a campfire. And remember, safety first, kids. That is what is left of the Golden Belt Mine. And up here on this hill to my right is what's left of the St. John's. There's a sign here. It says, Site Restoration in Progress. Please stay out. Bradshaw Ranger District, Prescott National Forest. So we will obey that sign. The Golden Belt Mine produced gold, silver, and lead. It probably produced one other commodity and I just can't remember what it is. You can look it up. It'd be a good educational opportunity. And around the corner, the road goes up to the right, there's the uh, Farview Group. So right in this little area we have the Golden Belt. We also have the Silver Pheasant, the St. John's, and the Fairview. A few miles up from around the corner where the Fairview is, or about a mile actually, a mile and a half, they will be the little town of Cleeter. Good place to get a beer. So we'll continue on our journey. We're going to go up and check our property in Crown King, and we'll see you kids in a little while. Up here below the Fairview Group. A couple of uh, prospects here. It'll be actually pretty easy to fall into that one. So we've decided not to do that today. We're not going to fall in. Very pretty out. Lots of digs between here and that dike. Outcrop up there. Kind of 
kind of above this little wash here. I think our next stop is going to be Cleeter. Right here in the cleater bar. Got the surfboard, so when you want to go surfing later. Some deer to eat. Plenty of money here. Got a bikini. Okay. Friendly bartender. Okay. And after a while, she can get say hello to me or nothing. So, um, and I wanted to see if I could get Batman carrots. Yeah. So, um, one of the guys that came in here actually knows them. Yeah. Her. And she is the granddaughter of Cordis. She is. Yes. Okay. And, um, hey, will you tell me the story about how the dollars, why the dollars are on there, the credit story? Okay. When the miners or ranchers would come into town, they would cash in, and before they went back out, they would leave a dollar with the bartender with their name on it. So that way, and when they came back into town, if they weren't successful or didn't strike, find any gold, They'd have a dollar waiting for him to buy a bottle f with their name on it. Prepaid. Prepaid. <laughs> Here's the bathroom instructions. Please, due to water shortage, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. That is awesome, and it totally makes sense. There I am, in the mirror. <laughs>